We've got two paintings by Cézanne hanging here side by side. One is Cézanne's self-portrait from the National Gallery Zone collection acquired by the Courtauld Fund in 1925. And next to it is one of the versions of Cézanne's card players, his iconic image, one of a series of five paintings showing different arrangements of card players assembled around a table. And that painting, the card players, was bought by Samuel Courtauld for his private collection in 1929. In Britain, critics and museum officials find it hard to really understand the art by Cézanne. One of the reasons for this is that they very much thought that Cézanne was a poor draftsman. They were also very bothered by this kind of distortions of perspectives and scale that you see in his paintings. For instance, very evident in the card players, where you see the table is tilting towards the left. There's a card players on the left of the image. His head is a lot smaller than his body. And they couldn't quite figure out what Cézanne was trying to say with these uh, liberties he was taking with uh, proportions and perspective. Courtauld had uh, the revelation of Cézanne in 1922 when seeing an exhibition in London which included landscapes by Cézanne. From that moment on, he will not only build a great collection of paintings by Cézanne, but he will also make sure that Cézanne gets the recognition he uh, deserves in this country. And the first uh, painting by Cézanne to have been bought for the National Collection was this self-portrait, a very powerful statement. It's a great way of introducing an artist to represent him with a self-image, and Samuel Courtauld can be credited for that. His self-portrait is really a typical example of Cézanne's so-called constructive stroke. You see how his built-up form and gave a great sense of volume to his face just using small parallel brush strokes that he's applied quite systematically in a very organized way. And in so doing, he really manages to convey a sense of relief and makes his own face emerge from the background.